small car with a three-pointed star on it, then you're very much in luck because Mercedes make loads of them. They don't want to give you the excuse to buy anything else. So as well as the A-Class hatchback and saloon, the B-Class, the GLA and GLB SUVs, there's also the CLA four-door coupe and this, the CLA shooting brake. Now, all those cars are relatively similar in size, but the shooting brake version of the CLA is for those people who like a bit of style as well as the same practicality that you get in an estate without it being as big as a C-Class estate. I know it sounds a little bit niche and complicated, but wipe that confused look off your face because I am going to tell you everything you need to know about this car. But before we do that, make sure that you subscribe to the Car Buyer YouTube channel, click on the bell button so you get a notification every time a video goes live and give this video a thumbs up. The CLA shooting brake is essentially in a class of one. There aren't any direct rivals from any other premium manufacturers, and there are a few estate cars around that can match in the style department. The car is renowned for its aerodynamic shape, which not only helps with efficiency and refinement inside, but also contributes to its sleek looks. The CLA is aimed at the style conscious. It's only available in the AMG trim lines. That means every model comes with a sporty body kit and 18-inch grey AMG alloy wheels. You also get lowered suspension and full LED headlights. Rather than more trim levels, Mercedes offers optional packs that bundle equipment together. The premium pack on our car adds the full all-digital instrument display, an upgraded sound system, 64-colour ambient lighting, keyless go, augmented reality sat-nav and illuminated door seals, all for 1,500 quid. The premium plus pack, that's another 1,500 quid on top of that, adds another set of extras, including panoramic sunroof, extra seat features, multi-beam LED headlights and traffic sign assist. There's a driving assistance pack available too, which adds some extra safety tech, should you want it. So while we're on the subject of style, I thought I would bring you straight in here to another key selling point of the CLA, namely the interior. Now we first saw this design in the latest A-Class and it still looks so impressive. It's got that wow factor, makes me go, Phew. I don't say that often. This one continuous screen that takes you from the digital dash over to the infotainment system looks really modern. The turbine vents look brilliant, especially when they're lit up. Big fan of that. And the little finishing touches and materials just all look and feel really classy. Now, if you don't opt for the premium pack, then the display doesn't fill out the screen, which I think looks a little bit naff. And you don't get the ambient lighting as well as a few other extras. So I definitely think it's worth it. Plus, if you're paying monthly, you're not going to notice that much more a month. And I know, I know I'm spending your money for you. I'm just saying it's worth it. There's other little bits that I'm really enjoying in here as well. Heated leather seats, dual zone climate control, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wireless phone charging. Very nice. I know there's some less expensive alternatives to the CLA. I'm just saying you can see around the cabin where your extra money is going. I have one little bugbear. And that's when you're listening on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever. To change a song, I've got to press two buttons. I've got to press along the top and then swipe along. Which seems a little bit more effort than just pressing a button on the steering wheel. First world problems, eh? One of the reasons you might be considering the shoot and brake version of the CLA is because you need the extra space and practicality versus the saloon model. There's certainly more headroom for the people sitting in the back because the roof line doesn't fall away as quickly as it does in the saloon. Legroom is pretty good too, and there's plenty of storage space. Boxier estates ultimately offer more room, but the CLA is unashamedly a compromise between style and practicality. Now the most obvious difference between the shooting brake version and the standard CLA is the boot. Now, compared to a normal estate, the opening isn't the biggest or the best shape, but compared to the saloon version, having the hatchback boot lid does make life so much easier. You've got 505 litres of boot space, which is 50 more than the saloon, and a 40, 20, 40 split when you want to fold down the back seats for more flexibility. The standard shooting brake engine range consists of three petrol options, a diesel and a plug-in hybrid model. 
The entry-level 1.3-litre petrol has 134 brake horsepower and is badged the CLA 180. It can occasionally feel a bit slow, but we recommend moving up to the 161 brake horsepower CLA 200. The CLA 250 has a 2-litre engine with 221 brake horsepower and the same 4-cylinder petrol engine is used with increasing amounts of power in the two sporty and very expensive AMG 35 and 45 models. The plug-in hybrid model uses the 1.3-litre petrol engine along with an electric motor for a total of 215 brake horsepower. It's pretty quick and makes a lot of sense for company car owners. And CO2 emissions of 26 grams per kilometre give it a very low BIK rating. Now I have the 220D model here, which actually is the only option if you want a diesel in a CLA. Now, as much as diesels are becoming less and less popular, I actually think the 187 brake horsepower two litre engine that we've got here is a really good fit. It packs a good punch for overtaking and pulling the car along when it's fully loaded. It's also very quiet when it's cruising. Now the fact that it can go 0 to 62 in 7.2 seconds and return around 56.5 miles per gallon just goes to show what a great all-rounder it is. Another good thing about the diesel is that along with the top of the range AMG 45 model, this has a much smoother eight speed automatic gearbox rather than the seven speed auto that you get in the rest of the range. But truthfully, that doesn't really matter because the CLA is more suited to comfortable, quiet roads rather than speeding between corners when you're whizzing around a twisty back road. The steering feels very light and lacks feel and it doesn't feel as sharp when you're going around corners. It's not that it's a bad drive, but if you think of it as a small, comfortable, luxury estate car, then you'll understand each other more rather than just assuming it's a sports car. Right, let's take a look at the deal makers and deal breakers for the CLA shooting brake, shall we? There are very few small estate cars on the market and fewer still that look as good as the CLA shooting brake. The attractive styling isn't limited to the outside either. The inside of the car looks great, especially at night thanks to the ambient lighting. The CLA is very well equipped and a comfortable car to be in. It may look sporty, but it doesn't feel it on a twisty road. The CLA is more about comfortable cruising than quick cornering. The shooting brake version of the CLA is more practical than the saloon model, but there are much more practical estates available. The good news for Mercedes is if you want a small, luxurious estate car, the CLA shooting brake is basically the only one on the market. It looks good, the interior is fit, there is a strong range of engines, and it's more practical than the saloon version. The bad news is, if you're pitching a car squarely at those people who are interested in style and image, then you're better off doing it with an SUV. This is a comfortable car to drive, yes, but it's not the most thrilling and that's going to help people sway towards going for a high riding crossover instead. And once you start doing that, the competition is huge. Ultimately, the CLA shooting brake is all about style over anything else. And whether you want one or not will depend on whether you like how it looks. If you enjoyed this video, then why not watch our Mercedes A-Class review and our estate cars playlist. Thanks for watching.